Entrepreneurs naturally like to share advice on how to raise funds and how to connect with good investors. And a trend we've noticed is entrepreneurs saying, ask not what you can do for the investor, but what the investor can do for you. In other words, you should interview an investor in terms of, okay, well, what can you do for me? What do you bring to the table? Instead of just begging them for money. So not only do we uh, lack the level of arrogance required to pull off a feat like that. And we are intolerably arrogant. <laughs> But I, I personally don't know if I agree with that particular strategy. It's one of those strategies you hear a lot and it sounds really nice. You're like, oh, it sounds like it could work. But actually implementing it, the cost in doing so if it fails could be so high that you only the most uh, brash individuals would actually fully implement a strategy like that. Now, I disagree. I think that if you get an investor that is really excited about your company, um, it may not hurt to ask them how they'd like to be involved because it could get them feeling even more committed. It's that classic sales thing where if you get the person to imagine the couch in their house and how they'll sit on the couch and have guests sleep on the couch, suddenly they have this whole idea of how their life is going to exist with a couch you're trying to sell and they really want to buy it. And I think that if you ask investors, you know, well, how are you going to be involved? How much are we going to talk? What can you do for us? They, you're building that same fantasy and having them invest emotionally in your company. So I think in yeah. that way it could work, but not in the way of you sit down immediately with an investor, they haven't said they're really committed to you or excited about your product and immediately you're acting arrogant. No, I, I definitely agree that you should always, I mean, I would never left a meeting with a VC without asking them, you know, or any sort of an investor, you know, how are you involved with companies you've invested in in the past? How do you plan on being involved with us? Uh, it just doesn't always go that way in that investors typically aren't as enthusiastic as you would like them to be in this scenario. Yeah. Just something to consider. <laughs>